This is the Trax 6500 power dolly. I've got a 2010 Ranger 621 with a 300 Verado on the back and a 99 kicker. Gas tank's just been filled up. Five tank or five uh, batteries in the boat, fully loaded with tackle and gear. Probably weighs 5,000 pounds. It's too much for me to push into my garage here. So I purchased this here a couple weeks ago. And all you have to do is lower it down on the ball. Then you take this lever, slap it up. And this thing will move my boat pretty easily in and out. Because I'm not able to push it into the garage and turn it because it's a tandem axle. So I uh, decided to talk to my wife and talked her into uh, having us purchase one of these. So all you have to do is the on off switch down there, fast and slow. And I was kind of questioning whether this would move my boat here or not. But uh, after purchasing it, I know there's not really anybody else I saw with a lot of boats this size that were moving them around. They have some of the other brands that were extremely noisy and they weren't built as well. This thing is whisper quiet. So I'll show you how to turn it on. You push this gray button in the front and it goes forward. You push it again and it will go in reverse. Backs your boat up just like that. So you push it again. You can bring this thing out forward. And you do have to use two hands on it periodically. I mean, you're not gonna just drive this thing with nothing. You do have to put a little bit of effort into making it steer. But as you can see here, said I got a two car garage here. But the problem is, is it's a few feet short of being able to put my boat straight in there. So it was either add on to the garage or make a purchase like this here. So we decided to try this out after watching some of the videos. That was the slow speed, the fast speed. You can see it goes that fast and it will drive on uneven terrain. It does have a brake built into it and I can put it backwards. So it will dig in and push back. Now for me, for what I'm doing, I like to use it on the slow speed because it will jump up a little bit on you and do that. So this isn't 100%, you can steer it with your pinky finger, but you put it in slow like that, and I got a fairly level driveway, it's got a little bit of a slope to it, but I'm 48 years old, not in the best shape of my life anymore. So I can take this thing and just drive it in, put my boat pretty much wherever I want to inside of my garage. All I have to do is take the thing and steer it like this here. Keep your hands on there. This is on the slow speed once again, so I'm sure that I'm not gonna hit my ice house in the air or anything else like that. Because unless you're uh, incredibly strong, you're not gonna be able to turn a tandem axle trailer like this very easily. But as you can see, I can turn this thing right like this here, a sharp 90 degree turn left or a sharp 90 degree turn right. And it will move the boat pretty much with ease wherever you wanna go. So if you have a ice house like this, I think it said it was rated to 6,000 pounds. So that's 8,000 pounds. I don't know if it'll move that, but I can move that with my truck, no problem. If you're looking for something to push your boat or something else around pretty easily in your garage, you know, with taxes and shipping and batteries, it's gonna cost you about two grand, but this will enable me to use this boat probably for the rest of my life as long as I want to do it anyway as long as this thing doesn't kick out on me but it seems like it's built fairly uh, good and it's pretty damn quiet especially if anybody else has watched some videos on those other ones that are out on the market this thing here it uh, pulls your boat in pulls your boat out really nice and uh, I'm not uh, paid I don't work for this company or anything I'm just a guy who fishes in Minnesota. And like I said, this is a Ranger 621. And uh, that's a pretty heavy boat to try and push around with just your hands. It ain't gonna happen, not by me anyway. So if you're looking for something to move your boat around that uh, you can get into tight spaces and uh, you're willing to separate 
you know, a couple grand, this definitely is the best one to go for on the market. Thanks for watching.